Right, so before I get started with today's video, just want to mention that you guys can help support the channel by picking up some merch. You can head over to engineer to design at teespring.com. So I'll leave the link in the description and that just helps support the channel um, with new future builds and everything. But as of right now, let's jump into the video. What's going on guys? It is very early Saturday morning here. Um, so we're just about to get the big surprise delivered. So we've done the footings, that's all down and level. So we'll be able to um, just drop it straight down onto that. But I'm really excited, guys. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new E2D headquarters. So I've been organizing this thing for the past couple of weeks. So we're gonna smash into 2021 with a new shed to work in. So this will be building all the projects inside. So I won't be out in the rain anymore. I'll be able to have all my tools and equipment all in the one place with some workbenches and everything. Um, this thing is just a massive game changer, so I'll be able to build much bigger and better projects in here and I am so wrapped to bring you guys along for the journey, so let's check it out. Alright, so to start with what we had to do, I got some couple of sleepers there. Um, now I had to put down, they are treated pine sleepers, 200mm by 75 by 3 metres long. Now container is about 2.4 wide, a little bit over. So I had to leave a little bit of extra room on there so that three meters covers perfectly. Now I made up these little um, concrete blocks just out of some 27 liter plastic tubs. So they only covered about halfway full, but they worked really well. The only thing that did happen was the tops bowed a little bit, but that's all right, that will settle down in there. Um, now the tree to pine was just to get it up off the ground so nothing could live under here, no um, vermins or anything could get under there and make nests or anything. And that'll just make it easy access for when I run power and I'm hoping to run compressed air and all that. All right, so as you can see there, we've got those original two sleepers, same as the front, and then we've added a third one, just a 1.8 metre cut in half. So that just goes on the ends there and that's leveled out the container because the back of it is actually in a little bit of a slope. So the ground slopes off, so we had to level that out so that nothing would roll down to the back. So as you can see, this container is pretty straight for its age, not too much rust. Now there is a little bit of rust around the doors and that, but I'll be able to fix that up later on. But this thing is extremely big, so I'm wrapped with this. This is just a game changer for the future of E2D. All right, so on the roof here, as you can see, there's a couple of patches at the front, nothing too serious. Um, so I'm just gonna sand that down and use a little bit of rust converter and that'll stop the rust from spreading any further. All right, so these shipping containers are getting extremely hard to find. Um, this one I luckily found locally, so that was pretty good on a, on a good deal. Um, so it is 40 foot long high cube, so we get the extra foot of the ceiling height, so that gives us a lot more room for storage or anything, if we want to put racks or anything up there. Um, my plan is to run a couple of benches down the sides, hopefully with a vice and all that, be able to bring a welder in. I will be doing a video on the 240 volts, so I'm gonna wire this thing up and tap some power off the shed next to us. Um, so as you can see up the top there, it's got a couple of little patches. So this thing is a 2001, um, so it's obviously been on the water since then. But these patches have all been done to engineered specifications, so they're all watertight and won't leak. Alrighty guys, so the reason why I chose this shipping container was number one, it's very portable. So these things can be full, loaded up, and they can be moved anywhere you'd like. Uh, number two is all I needed was a couple of sleepers and some footings, so there's no need for concrete or gravel or anything like that. Um, but I will be adding a gravel little slope up here. As you can see, I have used uh, some ramps here to get some stuff inside. And they also come waterproof and vermin proof off the ground, so they're ready to go to work in. Now, the wooden floor may be a pain for when we start to set things up and weld and that inside, but we'll just have to see how that goes. And also, I am thinking about adding a window in the side and maybe some ventilation up the top. I'm not too sure yet, but I'll definitely be bolting on a fan at this front door so we can get some cool air in there. But this is just gonna allow for some bigger and better projects, guys. So I'm off the ground, out of the weather, so I'll be able to work in here and have all my tools in the one place. But they are a bit of a hot box to work in, so I might have to put a bit of a roof over the top. And I'm actually thinking about maybe a, um, a lean-to on the side there, so I can put the camper trailer and all that and store that down inside, just to keep it out of the weather for future. Righty, guys, that's actually gonna be a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. This container is actually already filling up with some epic little projects in there, but you guys will have to wait to see that. I can't wait to take you guys along on this epic journey of turning this into a shed. Um, this is just a massive game changer and I cannot wait. So I've actually been doing YouTube for a year today, um, and I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers guys so I can get monetized and get some bigger and better projects happening So if you guys could share around the channel share around the videos with your family and friends 
I'd really appreciate that and that'd be really great. If you guys would like to help support the channel to keep builds like this going, you can jump over to teespring.com, pick up some merchandise. If you'd like an inside scoop before YouTube, you can jump over to Instagram. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. I'll see you guys in the next one.